hopefully you have done this question and you are eager to see the answer okay so let me go over the question again so it says a curve is defined by this uh, these two equations so this is a parametric function x in terms of 9 cos theta plus 2 and y is 9 sin theta so you want to find the equation of the tangent to this curve at the point where theta is pi by 4 so this is in radians okay so first we want to find dy by dx okay we want to find the gradient at this point okay for that We'll have to first differentiate this with respect to theta. So let me write x is 9 cos theta plus 2. So you can say differentiating with respect to theta, both sides. So we can say d by uh, d theta of x is equal to d by d theta of 9 cos theta plus d by d theta of 2. So you're differentiating with respect to theta. So d by d theta of x is nothing but dx by d theta, d theta, or theta. So 9 is a coefficient, so you can write 9, and differentiation of 9 is so our differentiation of cos is negative sine theta and differentiation of 2 is 0 so this is nothing but minus 9 sine theta okay now same way uh, let me write the second function in a different color so y is 9 cos theta so I'm now doing in short this implies dy by d theta is uh, oh, sorry this is 9 sine theta sorry this is 9 oops I'm using a big eraser 9 sine theta it's 9 sine theta and differentiation of sine theta is cos theta so divided by d theta is 9 cos theta okay now you want to find dy by dx okay and uh, so dy by dx again let me use a different color dy by dx is dy by d theta or theta divided by dx by d theta d theta i say i keep saying d it's d theta okay so dy by d theta is 9 cos theta and dx by d theta, dx by d theta is minus 9 sine theta, minus 9 sine theta. So the 9 will get cancelled, and cos over sine, you should know, is minus cot theta. So this is minus cot theta, or which is nothing but minus 1 over tan theta. So we have, we can find now, the gradient when theta is pi by 4. So we can say therefore dy by dx when theta is pi by 4. So what we are saying is the gradient of the function at theta or when theta is pi by 4 is dy by, dy by dx. So what you have to do is you have to substitute this into this equation so this is minus 1 over 10 pi by 4 now 10 pi by 4 is 45 degree you can check this on the calculator but 10 45 you should know is 1 okay so just to explain this so first look at your setting it should be in radians we're working in radians so you go 10 uh, bracket shift pi by 4 10 pi by 4 is 1 okay so this becomes this is nothing but negative 1 over 1 which is negative 1 so in other words the gradient at that point is negative 1 okay therefore let me write that again therefore gradient of tangent 
of tangent when theta is equal to pi by 4 when theta is pi by 4 is negative 1 that's what we have found okay and the question is you want to find the equation of the tangent at this point when theta is pi by 4 okay so therefore equation of tangent equation of tangent when theta is pi by 4 is what we want to find theta is equal to pi by 4 would be y is equal to minus x plus c now we want to find c for which we need one point now you got the point when theta is pi by 4 but the equation is in terms of x and y so this is a parametric function so we if you know theta we can also find x and y okay so so when theta is equal to pi by 4 and theta is pi by 4 we want to find the x so x is 9 cos pi by 4 plus 2 okay because your x is 9 cos theta plus 2 and theta is pi by 4 so we need a calculator you can do this without a calculator but for that you have to remember too many things so we are going to use the calculator so this is 9 cos bracket shift pi by 4 plus 2 which is 8.36 and I'm going to save this as a letter on the graphic calculator you can save a number as something anything but I'm saving this as letter A so this is the key so you use arrow then you can use alpha A so what I have done is I told the calculator save this answer as alpha A so that is 8.36 is a calculator will capture that as 8.36 okay just to explain that so if you press alpha a you get a that number so I'll write 8.36 I want the complete number to get the exact answer not I don't want to do the rounding at this stage this is called premature rounding so I'm going to save this as a and y is 9 sine theta or sine pi by 4 which would be what so you go 9 sine bracket pi by 4 I'm going to also save that as a letter B so this is 6.36 so you go uh, arrow alpha B okay so the calculator will remember just to show you that so if you go alpha B now it will be 6.36 so this is 6.36 I have saved that as my B. So can I write now like this? This is a pretty cheeky way of doing it. So we can say now Y. So I can put X as A and Y as B. Okay. Therefore, I can say Y is B. So B is equal to your A X is A. So that is minus A plus C. Okay. So you can see the use of algebra here. So now if you add, so you can say B plus A is nothing but C, which implies C is what? Okay, so we can do it like this, alpha A plus alpha B is 14.732 dp. So, so that is 14.73 in 2 dp. Now see if you keep rounding at different stages, your final answer may be quite different at times okay not always so you can say therefore equation of the tangent of tangent when theta is equal to pi by 4 is equal to or is not equal to is y is equal to minus x plus 14.73 so this is your final answer and you should be proud as, as, I've, as we have done lots of algebra and I've shown you how to use the memory of a calculator 
to use A and B and you should be really proud and you can give yourself two smiley face. See you in the next video.